Welcome to this week's episode of SA Wine Weekly. We've got something a little bit different for you today, tonight. We're live, Facebook, thanks for tuning in. If it's your first show, we've got a guy on the show who's never made a wine. We thought we'd make it a little bit different and we'd bring somebody on who knows the wine industry really well, knows great wineries to go to, great eateries. So we thought we'd bring him on for his opinion of where to go, what sort of tours you should go on, and also where's the best places to eat. And they're not your usual places you would think of either. He goes to all of them, so he knows his way around the winery and the eateries in McLaren Vale. So a little bit of a background on him. He was a school captain of his college. May not look like it, but he was. And in his year 12 year, he had an accident, which um, obviously the patch, we thought we'd address it straight away, so you weren't wondering if I brought a pirate on, is he was in a surfing accident and lost his eye. Didn't hold him back whatsoever. Still ended up finishing year 12. And, yes. pa and passing. And passing. One of the very few, you know, that actually passed. So we are um, brought him on the show for his expertise. Now he's running a local, and we love to be local here on the SA shows, is local business. Different sort of business than what you would imagine. We're talking paddleboarding. Correct. Paddleboarding. Stand-up paddleboarding. Stand-up paddleboarding. Not so good right this second, if you're a learner. What? Well, it's cold. Well, no, actually, the water's fine at the moment. Right. Um, and, and we've got wetsuits. Oh, you've got wetsuits? Yeah. All right. Well, that's that's out of the way. Electric bikes. Electric bikes. Ten of them. Ten of them? Ten of them. I bought, uh, bought from a guy who lives in Moana. Wow, that's a pretty good... You bought the electric bikes from a guy who lives down the street. He, he sells them down at the Moana markets. And when I... I mean, I talked to you guys about this when I, I started the business. It was all about... Everything was about local. So whether it be marketing, whether it be the places I go to, whether it be what I buy, whether it be, you know, the hat on my head. This was bought from a guy in, in Hackham. Um, so it's all about it's all about supporting local businesses. And, you, you know, I mean, I've watched the show, there's three shows, everybody talks about um, how the McLaren Vale area, it's all about a community and it's about supporting locals. Yeah, and um, McLaren Vale as well is extending further than just McLaren Vale. It's yeah, all the yeah. surrounds as well, yeah, yeah, whether totally. it be Selix. We'll talk about Selix a, bit, a little bit later and your, your favourite place in the world. Yes, my favourite place in the world. And then it's all the way down to Port Lunga as well, mm -hmm. which we may be drinking. We may just be... be uh, sampling some of Port Lunga's finest. We are, indeed. So um, you brought on the Cockle Diver Ale? Yeah, it's fantastic. I, so, I mean, I went to the launch of this down at the footy club, what was that, about eight months ago? About a year Thereabouts, ago. About a year ago, yeah. yeah. And this stuff, I mean, this is the sort of beer, when people talk about session ales, this is the sort of beer that, that if I'm having a session, this is what, what I'd want to be on. Because uh, there's a lot of, there's some beers that I find are too hoppy, you know, and you, you, you can have three, and I can really enjoy them. But this one here, I could have a session on it, and it's an, it's an absolute cracker. And ma made for the Port Lunga Footy Club? Made for the Port Lunga Footy Club. So, um, great local bre brewers. Yep. Who, to the punters out there, might actually be sneaking in on the show. So I hear. Yeah, and so, a great bunch of fellas. All right. And they're all from the wine industry. And, and the thing I like about South Coast Brewing is that, you know, it's when you get there, it's, it's real. You know, it's not, it's not fancy fancy. It's you get in there and you're, you're at a brewery. It's working. The guys are doing it from, they've done it from the ground up and they're locals. And so I, I love, you know, middle of the day, late day, love to get down there and, uh, have a few, have a few uh, brews. So we've also got to, um, obviously you brought on three amazing wines. I have. We'll get into those shortly. And you can obviously win these wines. So when we're drinking the wines, you can um, comment, throw some comments to Luke or myself, preferably Luke, and we can, he'll answer those comments. And whoever's the best comment will win yes, the I'm bottle of wine. Okay. We've got a comment already. We do. We've got uh, Junior David. Thanks for tuning in, mate. Session lighter than pale ale. Yeah, I think so. Right. It's, you know... Do you want uh, the beer expert to answer? Yeah, yeah. You, uh, you're <laughs> have a look. Have a look. Who do you think is a beer expert? <laughs> All right. Much lighter. Much lighter. 
Okay. So yes, they do. So um, uh, with, with the tours that we do, I mean, we, we're predominantly, I mean, we call ourselves a wine tour, but we, we do gin and we do beer. And so, yeah, I, we get to the, um, the distilleries or, and the breweries all the time. Um, and they do paddles down there. So I think you get four in the paddles. Um, you get to choose from what they've got. Uh, and it's, as I say, it's really, in, it's, I mean, it's in an industrial area. So, no, it's a... and it, you f it just, I love that. I love being in a place where it's um, from the ground up, as I said earlier. Um, yeah, and it's good, good people, good yep. area, awesome people. great beer. Yep. Supporting great the local footy club, yep. even more important. So what food? I'll be, I'm hanging out for what food we're going to have. The food that we're doing tonight? Yeah. Okay. All from local places, of course. All from local places. So Gone AWOL was based in Moana on 3rd Avenue. Yeah. So I, I live on 3rd Avenue. I have a uh, accommodation. So the house next to mine I own, and that's part of the accommodation. For so AWOL people tours. book in for the tours, and they get to the accommodation next door to where you live. If so they want. I mean, there's there's all... I mean, that, if they just want to do a straight-out wine tour. All right, let, let's go. Tell me the different sort of tours that are available. Okay, okay. So uh, when I started it, I was working at Caroline College. I was the vet coordinator there, and I was chatting with kids all the time. And I'm saying, and you know, a lot of kids would come to me and they say, you know, they, they were all about quite often getting a, a job that, that was well paid, and that's that's all well and good. But I'd always get back to what do you love? You know, what are your passions? And the year before last, I was in Sydney. I was on the harbour and I was watching some guys kayaking, and I, I just and I mean, I'm a phys ed teacher, outdoor education teacher at heart. And I thought about the conversation I'd have with a lad on Friday. And I thought, ah, it's time to go back to what I love. So I thought, can I come up with a business where I can do what I love? So stand up paddle boarding. I love wine. I love beer. And I, as you know, excuse me, I lived abroad for 11 years. And I do, I've done Airbnb for about three years. So I love being with travellers, hanging out with travellers, talking about travel. So I came up with the idea of doing, so we do wine tours. Uh, we, uh, with, with everything, we can do accommodation if people want it, but it yeah. doesn't have to be accommodation. Uh, we do, so one tour, uh, which is called the Coast of Vines, we, we start from Moana, we take the electric bikes along the coast, down to Southport. So from Moana along the bike track all the way? Yes. Past the trough, so you can yep. all the way down yep. to Moana, yep. uh, to uh, Southport? Down to Southport. God, God's country, Southport? Yeah. Yeah. Not quite. Well, we'll, 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 we'll worry about that later, but yeah. yeah. So, um, and so then they go for a paddleboard? Then, yeah, so I've got a trailer, so the bikes go onto the trailer. Yeah. And then we go for a paddleboard, so I teach them paddleboarding for an hour or two. And then we, we go to a local eatery. It might be Beck's Bakery. It might be the Deep Blue. could be anywhere. I, mean, I talk to them in advance. And one thing that's really important, I think, is that customer service. So I speak to my, uh, my clients on the phone, and I ask, what do they want? So, and, and quite often it's just, you know, head over to Beck's Bakery, something like that. Uh, we have a shower, and then I take them to the wineries in the afternoon. So we might go, you know, again, it's about where do, where do they want to go. So it's not a fixed itinerary. It's not like oh, we've got to go to Darrenburg, we've got to go to Molly Duke, or we've got to go to... It's what do you want? And, that, and if they want to know what, my, what I suggest, I'd ask, well, what type of wine do you want? What, what type and of um, setting fit, fit the tour into what they like. Yeah, it's all about, it's all about fitting it into what they like. Yeah, totally. That has to be pretty unique. Actually, moulding the tour to well, I hope so. Yeah, yeah that, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, and, and, and so obviously, there's that, that tour. Yep, is that the, okay, the electric so bikes right along the track? Yep, so that's the Coast of Vines tour, was the first one. The yep. second tour is what I just call the best of McLaren Vale, very original. Yeah, um, so we take the uh, bikes from Moana, we go along the bike track into McLaren Vale, and you've been along that bike track, gorgeous, absolutely. I mean, seriously, is Cameron, Cameron. Good do you change tours to suit your clients? <laughs> Cameron. Right. Yeah. That question must have been that for you, a little while. Uh, yes, 100%. I mean, I will, I, I mean, if clients want to go fishing, if they want to go hiking, I can, I can do a tour like that. But, I mean, I have my set tours. And as I say, one of them is the best of McLaren Vale. We get on the bikes. Uh, we go in the McLaren Vale. You know, quite often I like to go to Shingleback. Just as you're going in, in winter, you can smell the chimney, the smoke from the chimney. Yeah. You're Obviously, going, Shingleback's the first winery on first the... First winery. Yeah. And you go... I mean, you literally are about two metres away from it on the bike track, so why not stop in there? As soon as we start drinking, though, I put the, the bikes again onto the trailer because... Well, you have to be responsible. Yes. Drinking wine and so electric my, bikes... So probably, my mother tells me. Drinking wine and electric bikes probably don't go together that well. Probably not so well. No. Not so there well. There is some responsible people out there that will just be tasting, but yes. majority of them are drinking. Yes, after a few drinks... 
people tend to drop the uh, responsible side of it. Yeah, true. <laughs> so, uh, so, but uh, yeah, so we do that one. And then, as I say, we do, just do straight out wine tours. If people just want to go to wineries, I pick them up uh, from somewhere around Adelaide within an hour of Moana and we go to the wineries. Um, so you've m mentioned the magic word, wine. Wine. It is a, a wine show. It is a wine show. Yeah, so, so I'll just finish my beer. Yeah, well, whilst I'm um, having a look at what we've got here first. So um, we've got the uh, Danchi Rise. Yep, Grenache now, Tempranillo. Now, a lot of people wouldn't have heard of no. this place. And T tell us a little bit about it. Okay, so uh, I went on a wine tour back in, I think, about 2009. I won't say who my competitor is, but he is a great man. Um, and he took me uh, to um, Danchi Rice. It was at the end of the day. Fine. And yes, we had a, we had quite a few wines. And I, I had there. I mean, we had. He does he does a Grenache. Well, I mean, he does a number of wines. It's red though. I mean, it's all about red. And uh, they've got a Grenache, uh, Grenache Mavedra, a Grenache Tempranillo. Um, they do a, a Tempranillo Reserve, and then you go on to the Shiraz. And it's it's. I mean, it is in my mind. It is the best value for money wine going around. I love it. That's, Absolutely. That's it. Love that it. is a huge call. Yeah, well, right. St Steve, who's just there right now, um, I was there last Thursday night picking up this wine. And I, I was, I was you know, going to go in for 10 minutes. And of course, two and a half hours later, I'm sitting there <laughs> drinking with Steve. But I, I just love sitting there. He, he is a winemaker who wants to be with his customers. Um, and I mean, what do you think? What's your thoughts? I mean, I'll give it, we'll give her a good swirl there. She's a big glass. Well, I appreciate it. It's not a tasting show. No. It's a wine show. Okay. We cool. actually are here to drink. So, and you, and you kind of have a little bit of it to work out whether you like it or not. Well, now, what should I be smelling? Well, with, when it's got, ten, I mean, Grenache, let's get to what's in it. Grenache, in McLaren Vale, I think we do Grenache better than anything. You know, I, I, back in the 80s... No, I that, that is a huge call. I think we do. We're I, well known for our Shiraz. Well, had, had, had been well known for our Shiraz. And don't get me wrong, the, the Shiraz the Shiraz is awesome. And I love... And I, I'm a bit massive um, Shiraz fan. But about two or three years ago, I, I get a lot of guests from, from France staying at my Airbnb. And they drink a lot more subtle, um, you know, what I used to think is watered-down wines. <laughs> but I... I I said to myself, I've got to start changing my palate because, I, you know, in McLaren Vale, we have the big, bold wines like our Shirazes, and I thought, no, we, we need... I, I want to start going back a little bit and tasting more subtle wines and enjoying red wine in summer. So the Grenache that he does, um, I, uh, Steve, he said, chuck it in the freezer, in the fridge for, the, you know, half an hour. Well, not, I, not I, in the freezer. I do put it in the freezer for about what? 10 minutes. I cool it down. Um, it's not vodka. No, it's not. Anyway, anyway, yeah. but no, his Grenache, his Grenache is phenomenal. It's absolutely and utterly phenomenal, phenomenal. So um, you've got the lighter taste, very fruity, and then you've got the temp in there, and the temp has that earthiness, you know, that kind of, you know, it doesn't sound real good, good, but compost or mushroom. And I love that earthiness, and the mixture of the two is phenomenal. And and we're being served by the the great man himself. So um, blow me away, this wine. It's, it's it, it is amazing. It's phenomenal. I mean, um, all his wines phenomenal. The, the smell didn't really do it for me, but as soon as I yep. tasted it, well, that's the temp. I bet that, that that's probably the temp, and the temp um, challenges some people in terms of the smell. Yeah. But I was there the other night. I was saying to Steve, you know, which one should I take on? I was going to take the Grenache Mavetra. It's a little bit more fruity. Yeah. Um, and then we started talking about the food that we were going to pair it with, and so when I started talking about, it, I wanted to do a pizza from Deep Blue. Well, tell us about Deep Blue. Okay, Deep Blue. Obviously, so, you're Moana boy. So. Moana boy, Moana boy, bo born and bred since the 70s. So the Deep Blue used to be the old uh, deli where we used to go down with brother and sister who uh, better be watching. My brother probably isn't, he's too lazy. Um, but um, of our parents owned it. She is us? Yeah, she is yeah. us, yeah. They came along. They were in the 80s, I reckon. There it is on the screen now. Um, so that, we used to buy our mixed lollies down there, play Atari. You know, 40 cents if we were rich, we'd get the <laughs> bag of mixed lollies. And anyway, so it, it changed into the Deep Blue Cafe. And the best thing that has happened for the foreshore, I mean, it's phenomenal. And it's been going so well for so long. And their pizzas are unreal. Now, this pizza here is the Putanesca. And I, I'm going to be honest here. I only had the Putanesca for the first time on Friday night because I was, I, was, I was talking to Steve about what I should be pairing it with. All right. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to have to get into, get into it. it. 
and I'll just watch it. No, nah, yeah. No, nah, nah. well, you know. We'll go bite for bite. Okay, bite for right. bite. We've got some napkins in here. Yeah, there you go. All right, so... So, yeah, Steve was saying with, with the um, Tempranillo, go something a little bit more spicy. Um, so we've got, uh, yeah, the Pudinesca and, you know, we've got our anchovies and whatnot on here. And I'm going to I'm gonna talk while I've got no, my mouth. Just like you did in the promo. Yeah. Okay. No, nah, please don't. Okay. Okay. You almost ruined the promo by okay. talking during it. I'm going to about that. Now, the oil in the pizza mm. really brings out the flavour in the wine. I like, I like this idea of food pairing. Yeah. Because that's what wine's all about, really, isn't it? To you and I, who aren't winemakers, yeah. who don't really know. Am I allowed to swear on this show? Yeah. Okay. Sure. I hate wine wank. I'm just not into it. And, and number one, I don't have, I don't think I have the skills um, or, um, or the subtleties of taste to be able to break down a wine like, mm. you know, the real connoisseurs do. I can't go mid palate. I can taste some orange or, you know, some apple or leather or shoe polish or whatever it is. Um, but I certainly can taste a wine that I like. And I think I, the great, what I, I actually on the tours like to come inside the buildings, well, in, into the cellar doors with my clients because I like to see what they're enjoying. And if they like a particular wine, then I might suggest whilst we're going here, here and here, how about we maybe go here because I know that you like that particular wine. And where you're obviously offering to take them, you know they make yeah. a good quality yeah. wine. Yeah. We are so spoiled though, aren't we? You've got such a vast array of wine who's in McLaren Bar. Yep. They're all awesome for a different reason. I, um, I lived abroad for 11 years and um, there was never a time, uh, and I lived and went to some, some great places, but there was never, ever a time where I didn't want to come back to Moana. And it was because of McLaren Vale, it was because of our beaches, uh, it was because of everything. You know, and, and now we've got all the food that goes along with it. Because you know, McLaren Vale back in the, in the 70s and 80s, not a lot was happening there. No, not like today. Uh, no, I mean, it's unreal. You know, Vassarelli's, you know. So, we've got the timer going. We do. We need to um, throw up some comments. You can win this amazing bottle of wine. And don't forget that there'll be a deal for the wines at the end of the show as well. And there may even be a deal for Luke's Tours. There might not be a wine deal. We've got to work that out yet. I may have um, overstepped my you mark. May, you may have. But we may have to talk to the three wineries and work it out. But um, these wines will be available. There'll be links also after this show's finished, especially for all our international guests. So we've got guests from, or well, I guess um, clients, audience from everywhere around the world. We've only been running for three weeks, but we probably know pretty much all of the people. But I have to shout out to Michelle from the US and Dennis York from the US who has done a winery tour, been down here, used to work with me a lot in the telco industry, yep. loves his wine, big big fan of the show, mm -hmm. D doesn't like the wine wank, likes to hear the the layman's term, I like this, great idea, great wine. That's wines. why Steve at Dancy Rice, he just, he just breathes, lives and breathes wine. They love it though, don't they? Yeah, oh yeah, but, but he doesn't get into the wine wank and he just cuts to the chase and love it down there. Yep. Yep. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So we've only got twenty seconds. We're going to um, oh. a announce the winner, and our, they're a pretty lucky person yeah. to win well, this wine. I hope I know them, because I'll be around at your house. Yeah. Well, I hope they don't collect it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> even better. No, no good. Don't worry about it. No, that that is a really nice wine, and people on your tour are lucky to go there. And value for money. I mean, that's thirty dollars. That one there. I think. Steve, is it? Um, and it should be going for 60 for 70 um, And his Grenache goes for about 20 bucks. Ooh, more. Adam Hayes. Adam Hayes. And Chavis. Uh, <laughs> did he see I, me pick him up? <laughs> did you pick him <laughs> I asked. Uh, must... I asked Nathan if he wanted anchovies. He said he was going to pick him up. I love him. But that's just me. Well done, Adam. Yeah, that's a cracking bottle of wine. He will really appreciate that yeah, too. Yeah, unreal. Oh, that's cool. Excellent. And uh, so Foothills of Wollonga, Dancy Rise, even if you're not on my tours, um, give Steve a call, get on his Facebook page. He's not into the marketing side of things, so he doesn't have a big web page. I think he's getting one built. Give him a call. Um, go up there. You've got to book it in advance. Um, phenomenal place. Love it. Great for his wife and Oh, just go on one of your tours and go see him. Even better go yeah, on one yeah, of my tours. But it's not all about that. You know, you've got... Um, oh, geez. Made it messier. It's That's not right. all about just my tours because you've got to support local wineries as well. 
Wow, this pizza was excellent. Oh, oh dear. I said no. I said anchovies first. Oh, yeah. Uh, keep watching, Junior. There, there might be something else. We can, we can save way. you an anchovy if you want, Junior. Yeah, we could. I'll just. Uh, Excellent. So. There we go. We've got. Um, Do that now. Yeah. We've got um, the um, socials. Yes. Yep. Gone able tours. Yep. Facebook. Yep. You love the Instagram. Well, and you, and you love the selfie, you love the little video, which we enjoy as well. Okay, I, well, I need to go back a step here. I, about you know, three months ago, I started the business in December. Uh, probably not the best time to have started a tourism business. Um, bushfires, then um, obviously COVID. Um, and, and when things, you know, obviously, you know, I had all the tours lined up um, and um, obviously everybody cancelled. And I was like, well, what am I going to do in the meantime in terms of um, promoting the business? But not only promoting the business, it's about, again, it's about McLaren Vale. What do we got? And promoting promoting all the places there. So I got a drone and um, learned how to slice a, a, a video and, and started promoting them. And I, I love it. And it's, you know, hopefully it's good for the area. Ah, it is good. And you fitted right into that McLaren Vale. There's no jealousy. There's no, we're helping each other out. You're helping as, the wineries as much as you yeah. can. You're bringing clients to them. That, and that's what the Vale is all about. Yeah. And um, I've worked in a lot of different wine areas in Australia of doing telco, and McLaren Vale's just got that. It does. Coonawarra is a little bit similar, okay. where they all work together as well. But uh, just the McLaren Vale is a community. Yeah. And you're lucky to be working in such a community as well. Well, it's great. I mean, as you know, we went to school together. Um, and all the guys that we went to school with, you know, the... You know, the Speaking the of going to school with... <laughs> the muscliest guy in our school. Uh, am I allowed to say Alpha Beta? The oh, Alpha Beta. Here he is. <laughs> the party can start. Hello, here. Greg. <laughs> Good supporter of the show. Yes, I've seen him on it. I've, well, I've been watching every show. Awesome t shirt that he supplied for me. Oh, look at that. Isn't it? Lovely. And that's in small? No, that's in uh, medium. Okay, medium. Okay. Medium. Yeah. Three mediums, so to get <laughs> Anyway. Okay. So. Oh, we've got to finish these. We do, okay. We, so we don't want to waste any, do we? Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. We'll finish these. Sorry, I feel like a priest at the moment. You know, at the end of the night. No. no. no okay. Don't go there. That's... Pass me the other glasses over. <laughs> Deb, wine tours and trekking. How much fun would that be? Yeah, well, I mean, my, my sister's living up at Bluett Springs at the moment, and um, you know, just, just in Bluett Springs alone in the gorge down there, it's absolutely... Absolutely gorgeous. It's gorgeous. <laughs> you know what? Deb could come down. She could run a trek down there, take the South Australian people, take them through the gorge, and she could stay with you, do a tour at the same time. And you could, you yes, could, yes, you yes. could, you could throw the trekking in as part of it. Yeah. You totally. said you said that you would do do extra tours. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Hundred percent. And and it's. I mean, it is. I was down. I was teaching uh, down at. Um, uh, Old and Lungs Primary School last I'm week. I'm going to interrupt okay, quickly. Go Sorry, go ahead. Um, you can bring that story up while I'm okay. pouring the wine, but we're on the SC panel. Yes. Now, a lot of a lot of people know this winery. Yep. Carl Cox has played there. Right, okay. Carl, you didn't know that? No, I didn't. You did not know that. Carl Cox has played there a couple of times, actually. Um, amazing day. A yeah. lot of people know about the winery from that, but he's uh, won a fair few awards recently as well. Yep. Um, couple of the Bushing King ones? Yeah, I saw. I was looking the other night at about three of them, I think. A really crack of you from the deck. I mean, it, it is. It's outstanding. But there are so, and I don't want to understate how beautiful it is, but there are so many places yeah. in McLaren Vale with stunning views. And, and don't, SC panel, their view is absolutely magnificent. It's it's gorgeous. And there, that picture that's on there at the moment, on Wednesday nights in summer, they have these theme evenings that might be, you know, Greece. And they'll have, you know, 25 wines that are associated with Greece. I think it's $25 to get in. Um, you get a meal with it. You get a beer or a wine at the end of it. Um, and, you know, and we were love, you know, we were going there uh, every every um, Wednesday during summer. And then, of course, um, COVID hit and they, and Grenache was just coming up. I missed out on Grenache. Well, I'm sure they're going to open back up again sooner rather than later. Yes. But hopefully, yeah. with how how well things are going in uh, South Australia. Yeah, I was talking to them yesterday, and they're 
they're still in discussion, so it's it's not one hundred percent yet, um, but it's going to be very soon. Oh, very very soon. And which is going to be awesome. Okay, the tours we, will be able to start. Yeah. Right. Let's talk about this wine. Montepulciano. What was Monte, it? Montepulciano. Right. I'll call it Monty. Yeah. Okay. Monty, the full Monty. Okay. So, um, you had Ooh. Vasseron the other week. We did. And I asked him a question. I said, "What?" Petrucci. Petrucci. What? What's that? Vassa. Sorry, Petrucci. No, nah, give our casino a shout out while you're out of there. Sorry, no. sorry, Michael. Um, the um, and he and I asked him, "What wine would you like to be making?" And and he said. Uh, Montepulciano. Yeah. And I was at, uh, I had some guests stay with me and uh, uh, for about about six months with Airbnb. One of them was, or they both from France. One of them was working up at Darenberg. Um, and we had a party uh, one evening on the deck down at uh, Port Lunga. And um, she brought out this SE panel. And, and I looked at the bottle. I mean, the bottle itself was, was quite intriguing. And she got it out. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. What's the minute about the bottle? I just think it's a really cool one. Oh, the logo's pretty cool. I don't know. The pink. I mean, I'm colour white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm going to drink some. All right. So. But, I mean, what, I mean. Drink I'll, some. Well, drink I'm some. Gonna ask I'm going to have some. Have, a, we'll have a smell of it. What do you, what do you. It smells a lot better than the other one. Okay. I love, I love the other one. Yeah. No, I, I love the but taste. I mean, the this one, of... this one's, it's big, it's bold, it's fruity. It's dark. The look of it's really dark. Oh, how cool is the colour? I mean, mm, the, again, the, I'm, I'm the smell could be anything. The smells quite fruity for a yeah, totally red wine. It's a big wine. Uh, it's a it's a big middle of the range wine, in medium body. Yeah, smooth. Yeah, real, real, bit dry. Yep. 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 As you'd expect from a red. And so. it's, it's got that kind of, it's got that feel at the end like a Shiraz. Um, and okay, so, um, so I, when I was coming on this show, I, I did a little bit of googling because I knew I had to pair it with food, and I was thinking well, when you were lucky enough to be when I was to lucky, come on the show, I know, right. very lucky. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm indebted. <laughs> uh, anyway, and I, 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 about I don't know, maybe about six, seven weeks ago, I was uh, down at Trough Car Park, Tequila Drive, yep. Seaford, and uh, I go to the coffee trough there. Okay, they do coffee. I the heard coffee they've got a. Ama- oh, I haven't been there yet. It's gold. Amazing coffee, that little. Yeah, I, I love it. Right, love it. it's my kind of. So coffee. you're there getting a coffee. Yeah, they're getting tro- coffee. I saw over in the car park this at the time <laughs> this little dinky trailer, and they were selling food, and I thought, oh, that's different. That's good. Support locals. Support locals. Yeah, cool. So I thought I'll get my coffee. I'll go over, and they were doing egg and bacon rolls. Now, quite I'm, partial to egg and bacon rolls. I'm quite partial to an egg and bacon roll. And, I, you know, I wasn't, you know, expecting much because it was a little dinky trailer. And, my God, I got this bloody thing. And it, the, the roll number one, this, you know, really soft. Roll. And then I, I put it in my mouth and the egg kind of hang squirted. On, hang on, I'm trickling. Yeah, stop that. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, and, I, you know, my students who I teach, they know I, I'm, I'm not, I don't give tens very often. I say I never give, I never give full marks. But right. that roll. Except for this well, No, no, I can't. Okay. okay, I want to. I'm going to give All it a right. 9.98. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Don't want to break it. <laughs> so, you thought you Anyway, were... so, and, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyway, I... I'm just hoping you're not bringing bacon in here <laughs> with <laughs> this wine. I don't know where I go. Anyway, I was thinking about what can I pair with this. And I was thinking, oh, I love that egg and bacon roll. And then I, I, I had a mate go down there the other day. He was, he was talking about the actual burgers. Right. That mate might have been your brother. My brother? Your brother. It might have been. I can't remember. Anyway, ah. um, so, and he gave, and he's a harsh critic. He's, he is the harshest critic. <laughs> yeah. he's not on critic. himself. No, not okay, on not himself. himself. Not on Everyone himself. else. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, that's because, you know, I mean, he's a beautiful firefighter. You should see him. He's a beautiful man. But anyway, I w- it was all about um, what can I pair with it? And I was like, I w- and he gave the 10 out of 10 for the burger. So, uh, we got, so I said, uh, I've got to get Michelle from Sheffy Shelby's. Uh, that's the name of the business, and I contacted her, and she was just super, 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 super excited, and here she is right now. Hey, oh, have a look at that. Look at that. There we go. Oh, you got me oh, wine as well. We'll move that. Yeah. That seems like a fair trade. Are you gonna have a wine? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was mine. Oh, oh no, it's all mine. 
You can, but the whole COVID thing. Um, yeah, of course not. No, no, no. Pass okay. me a glass. Now, we're, 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 we're going to... We're, we're, yeah, no, I'll just give you another. You don't want to drink out of my glass. Oh, fair enough. No, sorry about that. We're, we're going to... Have a taste. Have a, yeah. have a taste. Why not? You driving? Yeah, yes. I have a food van. A tree. <laughs> and the food van is in the car park. It is, moment, yeah. And these yeah. have been cooked. Fresh. Yeah. Right. And they're dripping. I'll say I'm, I'm, you take over. These are the burgers look absolutely amazing. Thank you. Tell us about them. Okay. Because I've never had your food before. No, no. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what we've got here tonight is the um, Full Monty, because uh, Luke here contacted me last week. Was it last week? Yes. Last week, yep. And um, asked me to pair a burger with the SC Panel Monty Portiano. I'm so glad. Oh, you did pretty well. Yeah, I, yeah. I would have just said Monty. Yeah. Monty, with the Monty. All right. So... Um, I was like, yeah, definitely beef burger. We've got to do a beef burger. And I make my own relish, um, and it's eight-hour slow-cooked Can I butt in there? Yeah, you may. The relish. The, so I can you not butt in? So I can order. Order. <laughs> the, the relish is amazing. The, I the can't relish. even listen. I'm just okay, looking at, sorry. I'm just looking uh, at the, it. The relish is... Drooling. So yeah. what's what here? All right. So that so they're all the same. They're all full Montes. Yeah. Um, the buns are just different. The buns are different. Okay. So uh, my friend Tony Dick decided that um, he wanted Tony. Tony Tony Dick. So he owns uh, Dick Buns. <laughs> have you heard, not heard of Tony Dick? I haven't. Okay. I just, now I, you I have. Just, I was just laughing because of the name. Dick Buns. Thought. Dick Buns. Right. Look at it. Look him up. Um, I won't. Please, look guys, look him up. Okay. Look him up. He's well, amazing. Any, anybody who's been on tonight's show, what we do for our international guests anyway is we put a copy of it on YouTube okay. and then we put all the links in so people can find out where you are. So even if you're watching on Facebook Live tonight and you go, I've got to get one of those burgers, your link will be on there. Oh, and if they want to look up Dick's buns, then they can also look him up as well. <laughs> he told me the story of how um, it actually all came about as well. So it's actually really good story. Anywho, so what we've got here. Hang on, yes. let's give me a burger while you you're eat? talking. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. Know, yeah. I've got all right. at least now. Now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take my jacket off because. You're getting oh, serious. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So wow. my motto, I have a few mottos. I talk a lot of crap, um, if you know me. Um, and. You won't fit, love... in, fit in on this show then. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched this show before. Yes. Um, all right, so uh, oh, the best burgers that. in the world will... How do you rate it as this show? No, no. no. All right, no, so the best burgers really in the world will drip down your arm and make you drip down your leg. Oh, well, oh, So well, 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 I had to take off my uh, jacket so I can drip down my arm at least. Right, and, okay. I'm all all right. Right. We'll stop yeah. there, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, so, what, Luke, you're that. being the first guest. What are you having? Um, well, I love a tiger bun. Yeah, so I use tiger, tiger. buns on, on the um, van all the time. Yeah. Um, they're perfect. They toast up beautiful. They're fresh. They're soft, but they're crusty. Um, and these, so we've got a beetroot brioche, and we've got a charcoal brioche. So I'm going to go beetroot. Beetroot. Excuse fingers. Go for it. Excuse Check fingers. All right. And okay. you like the tiger bun. I guess that leaves me with the black dick bun. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hi, I'm a chef. I'm, I'm just, um, just going to put... Uh, all right. right, so I'm going to keep talking while you yeah. guys eat, which is pretty unfair, really. <laughs> I'm the fattest and hungriest out of the three of us, but no, you two eat, that's Ooh. fine. Oh. I'm going to talk more about this wine, and I'm going to talk mm. about how Michelle's got some skills at making oh. the relish out of the wine. Is that true? Um, or was Luke just that is exact, No, that is no. exactly what I did. So, um, I don't have to wipe my face. Um, so... When, um, when he brought it up, I was like, definitely needs to go with the relish. Make, it, make this story like elongated so I can oh, eat some. Yeah, okay, yeah, right. I'll, I'll dribble one. Okay. Um, I need I'll to wipe that. I don't want to waste the yolk, yeah. though. Mm. These think... eggs are from um, Southern Vale's eggs. A um, guy named Jace Cowling. And these eggs, they're just the butteriest things in the world. They're the best eggs in South Australia. Um, and oh. don't, don't look and talk to me. Sorry, sorry. Uh, camera? Camera. All right. Are Hi, camera. I'm time? terrible at this. No, All right. Bite. They're going to have a bite and then okay, some I'm wine. Just, just I know so, what I'm doing, mate. Right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, when Luke asked me to pair the burger, uh, what I did was um, I thought, okay, we're going to go beef with a red wine, of course. Um, I'm not a huge drinker, so I went out and bought a bottle yeah, of the... Uh, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> the... Uh, I went up to SC Panel, beautiful, beautiful place, um, really friendly staff, got a bottle, took it home, had a taste, and was like, this is going in my relish. Um, so I basically just adapted the relish that I already make, um, added 
They're um, beautiful, beautiful Monty. And there we are. Wow. Um, How was that? Oh, I'm going to have to say, Can I, I can't right give it now? a 10 out of 10. Good man. Because my, I don't I ever like agree with my brother. Yeah. <laughs> my brother gave you a 10. <laughs> Just before you come on, we were talking about it. So yeah. I'm going to have to give it 11. No! I, I don't have to go over the top. Beetroot is my favourite vegetable. Yes, yep. I don't know if Luke told you that before you came no, on. No, he didn't. You, oh, sure that have. bun is to die for. And if you know me well and you're watching this show, I've had a burger or two in my life as well. <laughs> and uh, with Jerry's influence, American loves burgers. We have tried. And the kids, my kids have a YouTube channel mm -hmm. and we do burger reviews. Mm. Go, go, show. Go, go, show. Go, go, it's go. Pretty blatant plug, but we'll do it again. Go, 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 go. on YouTube. Search it up and check out their burger reviews. I know where they're going for their next one. They're going to come down to Send them down. Send them down, Send them down for down a burger the, review. And the now they've got kitchen. a very fancy caravan, the Boombox Kitchen. We do. So what happened was, okay, so can I can I give my little backstory? Is that well, what we're doing? Well, just no, we before. No, you can. We've got plenty of time. Because okay. We've got long 55, as like, right? 54. But we've got okay, someone yeah. who's going to win this amazing Ooh, wine. They're so, so lucky. Cause, and look, it's magic. People have been throwing questions at and we've been too involved in eating and talking. Yeah, so. Sorry. If we can um, have some of the questions back up again, yeah, or some of the up. comments, um, to put Jerry on the spot, yeah. mm. maybe we'll I'll answer some of them while you guys eat. No, we'll just eat. So, all right, we, we've got 30 seconds to we announce the winner. Do they get a free burger with it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Please come down to Chefy Shelby's. Um, um, if Not you... to put you on the spot or anything no, like that. No, of course, but... of course, of course. Um, so come down <laughs> and um, I'll give you the full Monty. Wow. Hello. And a, bur and, a bur and a burger. And a burger to go with. Um, and take it home and enjoy it. Enjoy it with this beautiful wine. Um, How good is the wine? It's so beautiful. I'm not, look, I'm going to And you bought it. a bottle, obviously, to make the oh, yeah, show, of though. course. And I've been drinking it. I had, to, I had to stop myself because I know I had to use it for the relish. And I'm not even a big oh, drinker. It's really it's, drinkable, Luke, isn't so it? It's so drinkable. Is it? It's, yeah. When you said it was heavy, I, I was expecting a heavy. It's not a heavy drinking wine. No. It no. looks like it. And when you said, oh, it's Shiraz, it's nowhere near a heavy Shiraz. No, it's the, the finish is like a yeah. Shiraz. Yeah. But that's, to me, that's, you know, if you go to a party. Hang on a sec. Oh. Alan Novak. No, no. The winner. No. Oh, no. Luke, Luke should have the, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I read the end bit. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah I'm glad you, I, yeah. I wasn't sure. Luke what that should was have going. the black burger to match the patch. I'm glad he put match the patch. I'm glad he did too. Thanks. Now, that's, a, that's a, a Canadian. Uh, a Canadian? Mr. Novak. Well, he lives... He lives locally. Oh, you, um, know, you know him. Beautiful man. Uh, it actually sounded way wife. better when you said he was Canadian because it's probably about... Well, he's got a lot of Canadian. Well, no, he probably doesn't have Canadian friends. I think they've all, all let him go. Oh, what's oh. the cost of the burgers? Oh, okay. Uh, they're $12. What? Yeah. $12? Yeah. Can't buy a burger like this for $12. Yes, you can. At Chef Shelby, egg and bacon can. roll, $7.50. Egg... What? That's with, with the relish. That's with relish. If you just want egg and bacon, they're four fifty. Um, what? Yeah. Do you know what? Okay, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna. Put your props this is up. why. Yeah, no, that's what I've been told. But this is, here's the reason. Okay, so bring my own relish. I'm, can I give my little? <laughs> bring, bring your own relish. Okay. <laughs> you bring your own relish. I, think I, I was joking. He was yeah, I know. I know. Um, all right. So the little spill is. Um, so I'm gonna talk at the camera, right? I'm not, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm right. right there, yeah. Okay. Cool. So, what happened was COVID. Lots of people have lost lost their jobs. You know, or um, you know, minimal hours such as Luke as well. Um, many of my friends in hospitality, we, we thought that we were going to be the um, musicians like on the Titanic, like the last one, you know, playing the music and like keeping people happy and until it went down and no, we were the first to go. Um, we're not essential and yeah, sad. See this screen. Do you do veggie Be burgers? Be oh. Becky Little. Hey, Becky Little. Yes, I do. I have um, my. I have a few options that I'm always happy to adapt, Becky. Um, but my biggest one is the loud vegan because mm. vegans are loud, generally. Sorry, but you are. Um, and um, it's, no, but it's because it's very colourful. It's controversial. It's because it's very colourful. We've got um, turmeric, uh, roasted cauliflower, beetroot, um, hummus, and avo mash. It's beautiful. It's loud. That's why. Um, yeah, so anyway, lost my job. Did unemployment for two weeks. That sucked. Got bored. Uh, wanted to cook. Went and bought a camp trailer. Um, we, heard, we heard about the dodgy trailer. Yeah, the dodgy trailer. Hey, I'm keeping that. It's fun. That's nostalgia. Yeah, history. History. Yeah. Anyways, took it out. Uh, worked on it with my daughter over, um, so my daughter Chardonnay. 
Who's come watching? On, come, yeah, come on, over on. here. Come on. Come say hi. It's a, fa it's a family show. Hello. Chardonnay. Wine. Chardonnay. What a great name. I didn't even drink Chardonnay before I had it. No, oh, I, well, did, I thought maybe you're a crow supporter. That's I am know. a crow supporter, actually. <laughs> we both are. Oh, hang on. Hi. 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 Hey. Hi. Um, Jerry, you just put that out there because none of us could pronounce his name, didn't you? <laughs> had the pulled pork yesterday. Yeah, but Shane, that was a special. Like, that's not happening anymore. Don't leave people on. Oh, okay, I'll do it again. Um, oh, Shane. Hi, Shane. He's one of my best customers. Mwah. Uh, oh, no wonder for four fifty for breakfast and twelve fifty for dinner. Dude, this dude eats hockey puck eggs and uh, crispy bacon, and yeah, I just I see him coming, I've got to start cooking it. Um, anyway, the camp trailer got too cold for me and Missy. Fair enough. Getting, so I bought the boombox kitchen. Um, it was for sale in Victor Harbour. And where can people find you? On Tiller Drive, at the car park, at the end trough. of Tiller Drive. The trough. At the trough. Yeah. The trough. Where, and if people don't know what the trough is, uh, they're obviously not surfers, but it's where the, where the steps are, the long steps. Yep. I know them really well from Kakoda training. <laughs> so oh, no. we're, we're down there cooking how often? Every day. Every day. Um, yeah, I'm down there every day, weather permitting, from 9am till 2pm during the week, um, because that's school hours. And uh, on weekends, I'll be down oh, there from about 8.30. You didn't say you had day nights. I've got oh, donuts. Yeah, yeah, donuts. Yeah, because if because you said like you said, but Luke, that's how come you're in, Luke, how come you're in all these videos? You're just sneaking yourself in every know. every video, <laughs> aren't you? Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's a relish roll. That yeah, one. That, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Um, and now we're doing the for this week only. Um, I'm using the SC panel relish on all my burgers that have relish. Um, and if you want relish, it's dollar extra. So it's really. <laughs> SA Wine Weekly Special, isn't it? It is. It has to it be. Is. That's it. So for this week only, SA Wine Weekly Special. Um, come down, mention it. Let me know that you saw me make a fool of myself on TV. Ah, you've done <laughs> and, um, Actually, it wouldn't matter how bad you were in the camera, your burgers are awesome. <laughs> how good. Seriously. I've got... Uh, I mean, I'm trying to save myself for the last one, but I'm... All right. That's, we've got to wrap, we've got to we're we're gonna wrap, wrap this up. Wrap it up, yeah. Yep. All okay. right. So, Thanks heaps for coming on. You're so welcome. Thanks heaps for cooking Thank us. Thank you for having burgers. me. They are amazing. Thank you for the 11. That's not a thing. That no, you can't... no, it is. It is. You're Got to one up my brother. I like that. I like <laughs> that. that. Sibling that rivalry. Be that, that wouldn't be hard. Wouldn't Love be it. hard, really. There's no competition. But anyway, thanks right. heaps for coming on. Oh, uh, Chardonnay, thanks for coming on. You made the show look even better than usual. <laughs> She's a great server. She so, is. She's uh, got a hospital in her blood. So we've got the one-day tours with accommodation. Luke, tell me a little bit more about those. One-day tours with accommodations. Yep. Um, so that's uh, where, so as I mentioned earlier, if you did something like the uh, Coast of Irons or the Best of um, uh, best of Vale, and you wanted to be accommodated as well, so I'd pick people up the night before, oh, yeah. uh, about 5 o'clock in town, 5.30, uh, wherever they are, anyway. and um, I then drive them down, I'll uh, take them out for dinner. Basically, I'm with the accommodation tours, I'm on beck and call. So I'm next door, so I can, I'll can. i take them out for dinner, we'll do obviously the tours. So If they don't want to? If they don't want to do the tours. No, if they don't want to go for dinner. They just want to hang back. Oh, right. yeah. That's pretty cool. And there's breakfast, i uh, do a breakfast there. Uh, hang on. Cameron. What's your holiday deal, Luke? What's your holiday deals? Holiday deal. Well, that's coming up, isn't it? Well, my deals coming up. Mm, yeah. Well, I mean, in terms of my well, two, my two. He wants to come over in the holidays. He's hitting you up. What's his oh, deal? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bloody stuff. I'll be able to get rid of him. True. True. <laughs> uh, okay. So the tours uh, for a wine tour is ninety nine dollars. Uh, if you want to do uh, the bikes and the boards and the wine tour, that's one hundred and eighty dollars. But you know, give me a call. We can work something out. Oh, we've got COVID. Coming back from COVID, we've got to yeah, well, ramp, ramp up. We've got a special word. Luke, best wine after a long day of teaching. <laughs> oh, is, is Mitch a teacher? I was just thinking, boys. Best wine. Anonymous profile. Oh, mate, that's a good question. Time of year. Um, I mean, it's so hard. Um, I sh I, you know, cold winter night, it's got to be a Shiraz. I'm going to cut you off for a two secs. I'm going to pour this while we're... Do it. You keep chatting. Um, well, may maybe it's the Black Ops. The Black Ops, I only had this for the first time about two weeks ago. I go to, Hang on now, a minute, we haven't showed everyone well enough. Black Ops, where from? Uh, that's from Hugh Hamilton. 
Okay, so Hugh Hamilton... One of the well-known wineries in the Vale. Well, I mean, I think... Uh, on Hugh, the Mermetry Mile. On the Mermetry Mile. And what a mile it is. I mean, there's so, I mean, there's so many places. You could, you could do about... You could do about 20 have you got a Mermet, Have you got a Mermetry Mile tour? No, not not officially. No, no. We certainly go down. I, there. I think we should. Uh, we'll, we'll look into that one, but we'll get back to it. Hugh Hamilton. Um, I mean, the views are. We uh, they've got this kind of kiosk building, like the old kiosk down at Moana. Smaller version of 270 degree views. You're amongst the vines, and that's what I. I mean, the wine is outstanding, but you're sitting there amongst the vines. You are amongst the vines. And well, there's um, uh, one of the, the the staff there, and the staff. What's their name? Yeah, I was I was just <laughs> going. Uh, sorry. During rehearsal, you had it, but yeah, yeah it's sorry. Keep right. anyway. Um, I'm going to. She's not you. Hugh's daughter or anything, is she? No, no, no. Hugh, like well, Hugh's daughter. They're six. They're six generations, I believe. Of so they're the earliest in South Australia. They planted, I believe, in 1837, um, and so Hugh was the fifth uh, daughter. Uh, Mary is now. Mary, uh, is now the um, the sixth generation of winemakers. Um, I, I love it there, love it. And 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 this is a bit embarrassing, but I only I was put onto it by a mate about uh, a couple of years ago. And, and uh, this is a you know I'd heard about it and you know the black sheep da 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 da. da but you, you go to all these up, you get used to what you are used to. And I thought you know, I've got to go down there, and I was absolutely blown away. Anyway, getting on to this wine. Are we going to no, no, this no, Yeah, we're going on to this one. But I don't mind hearing more about the places you go to. Right. Because you go to a mall. Yeah. And you're pretty lucky with the job that you do. You get to it's, go to all these amazing places. It's unreal. And they are amazing, aren't they? Look, yeah. I've been I've been there and I yeah. it is an awesome. I mean you place. talk about the McMurtry Mile, but you've got the you know Oliver's Road there. I mean you've got you've got so geez, I, geez, you could you could name a few tours. You you could you could, you could, you could, you could I mean Chalk Hill down there, yeah. It's Blue Springs. Blue, I mean, Blue, Blue Springs, Springs Grenache. Yeah, I saw them last week. You'd have, yeah. to, you'd have to yeah. drop in and see Phil. Yeah, I mean, but Blue Springs, in terms of, you know, they were talking about that sandy soil and Grenache, and, and it's just the perfect place to be growing Grenache. Um, but you, anyway, love, you love your Grenache, don't you? Well, I, now, yeah, I, I, I was... Oh, this is strong. It's big. It's big, it's big. But, okay, so I'm, we'll go back to Let's the wine. Let's get back to the wine. Okay, yeah. we'll go back to the wine. So I was there doing some filming. A couple of weeks ago, uh, because it's one of my favourite places, wanted to do something for YouTube, and when I got in there, because at the moment they are open, uh, they're not doing tastings, but you can go and buy your wine, and at the end of it they, well, I was very interested in this one. As soon as I hadn't seen the bottle before, and I was just interested, in, and it's called uh, uh, um, Saparavi Shiraz, or Shiraz Saparavi, and I just hadn't heard of this grape. It's a bit embarrassing, as someone who does wine tours, but Saparavi... Well, you can't know everything. No. My, my mother says I do. Well, she, she's, well, she, she she, thinks, she's number one she, fan. She, she thinks that I think I do. Uh, anyway, that's another story. We had an argument about that the other night. But um, the Saparavi is the first... So grapes date back... Well, grape growing, wine I thought, you, I thought you didn't know anything about the wine industry. <laughs> anyway. 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 Um, goes back about 8,000 years. In terms of what they can hang test on, eight thousand years. Eight thousand years, and Saparavi in Georgia uh, is where they find the oldest grapes. And I love. Now I don't know that's, you. That's I don't, some, I don't that know. is some useless but interesting facts. Thank you. I've got I, I am going to bring that out. I'm, I'm storing eight thousand years I will, ago. I will bring it. Will Georgia. You, Georgia. Right. And they found these old flasks or old clay flasks that they used to um, um, make wine in. And Saparavi is the one, and, and they could bury these for 50 years. This Saparavi could be buried, they used to bury it for 50 years and let it age. I mean, I don't know if they meant to bury it for 50 years. Could you, could, I mean, you'd be dead at that time. Anyway, they Back did. Then you would have been. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, they did. And so Hugh, who I, I don't profess to know the guy, but he kind of fell in love with the, I mean, the romanticism of that. How cool getting a variety from, you know, those original places, bring it over here. So they've got a plot, not far, and you can see it from, from uh, where you do the tastings. And he's mixed it with Shiraz. And, and I, I brought it home. It's I, different. It is, it yeah, is. It's got it's, a very different taste. Yeah, it is. It's a similar look. To Shiraz. Uh, to Shiraz, yeah. yeah. 
But it's got a really different taste, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I... And I, you know, I, it's like, you know, finding, you know, you know when someone introduces you to a new record, a new musician? Yeah. And you find out that they've got, um, you know, they've, they've got 10 CDs or CDs, records, whatever you have. We're dating. Play this on Spotify? Right, yes, play this on Spotify. Um, and, I, you know, I was just, when I, when I tasted this, I was like, so what's around now? What's with what's going on with Saparavi? And they do a Saparavi on its own. You know who else is doing? So I, I just can't wait to explore that. And he's, he's, he's learning all the time, eh? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're I spending know, I all am. your well, once COVID's been, you're spending all your days in the winery. But what was the challenge for the food to well, go with this? Well, it, it had pretty strong wine. Yeah, so it had to be something beef. Uh, yeah, beef, not beef, beef, big, Jesus. big. Uh, okay, I'll beefy. Be. No, because it's lamb. No, but beefy. It's yeah, in big and big. strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm trying, to, help, trying to recover you. Thank you. Stop treading, that. treading yeah, water. That's, but that's yeah. good that you're here. Yeah. Um, so um, I, you know, well, okay, so I was thinking local again, and I was thinking places that I love lo uh, locally. Yeah. I really, I really said locally. It's legally. <laughs> I know anyway, where Duke's Cafe, Moana Surf Club, the greatest surf club in the world. Besides Southport? The greatest surf club in the world, and then... There's South Port and South Port. Right? Well, we'll, 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 we'll compromise and say the mid coast. Okay. The four corner carnivals we used to have. Yeah. Yeah. yeah anyway, anyway um, tell me about who owns it. Carly Hall. Carly, what a beautiful girl. Lovely girl. What a lo great mid coaster. Mid coaster. Mid coaster. Great cook. Fabulous cook. Fabulous cook. And I've been. <laughs> knows, I've, how, I've, knows how to run a. Well, I've been really lucky because I, I, I mentioned to her about a week ago when you asked me to come on. I said, uh, I'm looking. Because um, I, I love their food down there. I love the setting down there. Uh, and I was like, anyway, um, what could you match with the Saparavi, with the Shiraz sh Saparavi? And she suggested the Moussaka, I believe. Um, and uh, and it was like, yeah, bang, that's the no, one. No, you're dishing up. I'm dishing up, yeah. okay. I thought Jerry's going to bring us a spatula. Yeah, I thought there was a spatula. Hey, how about this? Fine. Ready? One, two, okay. three. And. Oh, <laughs> oh look at that. Okay. Have a look at that. I, now I'm gonna I'm yeah, I'm gonna give you the little crispy burnt side. Yeah, no, I'm only just having a little sample while a we're little, talking. Yeah, a little that. little sample. There you go. How about how, how does that look? So Masaka, what Greek? Greek. But to me, Masaka would I be right saying Moussaka. 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 Moussa. Moussa Adams. Moussa Adams. Sassine. Sassin Saba. Yeah. Legends. Anyway, so we've got a we've got a. It reminds me of a uh, kind of a lasagna, but it's, we've got eggplant and we've got lamb. Could you pass me a fork, please? Oh, no. Too interested in <laughs> eating. Okay. Don't worry about you. You can oh, use this. Swear to God, how... How good is this? You know what? You've brought in some exceptional wines and you've done extremely oh, well at, at bringing in some pretty... <laughs> it's going to be hard to talk yeah, food-wise. So no, I... you, oh, you go first. Oh, okay. And I'm going to talk about what I... This wine. Okay. Because I would say, oh, you don't even really need to Jeez, have food with this. It is a, a an amazing wine. Oh, the only thing I was thinking was they could have called it a black sheep. What? Would have suited me more. Being the but black he sheep. is the well. Hugh Hamilton is the black sheep of the family. So that's mm. his whole thing. I mean, he's the so as I say they were six generations, um, and Hugh's kind of gone off on his own, um, and. I love the fact that he loves really experimenting with wine, seeing what you can do with it. And this is just perfect. I mean, as I say, it's like finding a new CD and just going, wow. You know? That's a great pairing. And, and that, was, that was, you know, a week and a half ago, whatever, that I first tasted this. No, straight away, I was like, bang. Okay. And it's something. I need to put that in a pie. A moussaka pie. CJ's Bakery. The well, moussaka and a pie or the saparavi? I'm thinking the saparavi. Oh, I thought he was going to do a moussaka pie. Well. Andrew, we need a second comment. Yeah, we'll follow up with that Is one. it the wine or the... He, you know what? It's probably the wine. Because he's thinking, I'll put a little bit in there yeah. and I'll drink the rest. But, you know, but it, I mean, it's phenomenal. Oh, it is a great wine. I mean, these three wines are... You know, for somebody who doesn't know a great deal about wine, as you profess to coming on... I like wine. You like wine. You like drinking. Mm. Well, and and you love the McLaren Vale area. No, You've done exception, exceptionally well with your wines and your pairings. I'm just going to have a little bit more. And the beers. And 
Mm. Did we did we get around to the gin and everything else? Have we we talked we about haven't. it earlier? We haven't. Um, Tell so, me about it. Well, so there's pretty lucky in the Vale, really. In that little area, you yep. got breweries. Yep. Swell, obviously, he's just opened up Swell. a while ago. Yep. M great guy. Yep, Dan. W yep. Wine industry background. Yep. Loves his beer. Yep. And does Do a. Ah, doing an amazing job. We've got yep. a great chef in there, too. Yep. Oh, yeah. We might have to take the show there one night. Well, that, and, and, yeah, it was. Oh, why not? Well. Why not? Why? Oh, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Oh. yeah. I, that, that, I reckon yeah. that might win you an award, that pie. <laughs> yeah. I reckon you can talk to Carly and um, to Hugh and get something organized. Wouldn't well, that be the best pie? Oh, how was that? All right, so okay. to win this, oh, actually, I was going to just say to Jerry, don't put this don't put this screen up because <laughs> I, I was thinking I might keep this one for myself. But great wine. Um, keep your comments coming because you got the uh, chance to win this wine. No, it, no, no comments. No, so no, no comments. Halves. We'll just go halves. Fair enough. It is. A, it is an amazing it's, wine. It's, it's I just every, every guest that's come on and brought wines. I actually haven't had one I don't like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not a wine expert. No, no. And, I love drinking wine. I love this. Yep. And wine isn't all about what's the most expensive wine or anything like that. A lot of the time, it's who you're sharing it with. It and is. It, and old mate sitting there. Yeah. You know, you you can go to. You an amazing feat. Carly, oh. outdone herself. Oh, this, this, this is... I keep thinking about that pie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. So, that more comments. Amazing. We need more comments. Come on. Some comments to win this bottle of wine. We haven't talked this wine up enough. Well, I don't well, think we can. Well, um, I brought on... I, have a, I brought on great wine. These are, these are wines that I get really, really excited about. Yeah, yeah. And... I'd rather there not be a comment because um, I'll take it. <laughs> because I, 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 swear to God, I, I do. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, and how how's it work? Uh, What's in there's some there's some um, spices in here. Yeah, there's something in there. Isn't what there? is it? It's is it cinnamon? I don't know. It's but it, we need Carly to it, comment. She should be watching. Car, really. Carly, are, are you out there? Carly, well, what's comment. in the masaka? It's 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 phenomenal. Oh, it is. Great and, work. And can I say, whoever heated it up, um, perfect. Has done, done a great job. I've yeah, got at the top of my mouth, which I really, I've got. To... <laughs> All right, so we should have a winner. Jerry's going to have to dig deep because there wasn't really enough comments, or he hasn't shown us many. Luke Harris. Oh, Mark. Mark Dimmer. Luke, the black sheep of ancient Georgian <laughs> history. <laughs> I'll right. have a look at his T-shirt. Say, get a mid coast. What a legend. What a beautiful family. Yeah, um, but I was getting on to the gin. Right, yeah. We were about to talk about gin. So you got Settlers. Have you been up to Settlers? I'm, to be honest, I'm not a gin fan. You know what? I'm not a massive gin fan. Well, I'm not a... Yeah, I, I keep saying I'm not, and then I go and taste... Um, have I been to the tastings? Have I tried? Probably not. They're great. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and a, again, the views are phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Right. And I love love going there at the end of the day. And then, of course, Never Never came along. And Never Never is Chalk Hill. And they've got Chalk Hill Winery, Never Never, under this amazing building. Legs, it's a, it's a pretty uh, special legs you know who you are if you're watching this. Legs, it's a pretty uh, special place, Chalk Hill, isn't it? It's, it's jaw-dropping. I mean, and it is what, seriously Is that where Pizza Tech went to? They are, well, they were just about to move in. Before COVID? When COVID hit. Um, and, and I'm sure they still are. Yeah. But could you imagine, you've got Chalk Hill Winery doing amazing wine. You've got Never Never. And their gin is, I mean, they won the best gin. What type of gin was it? I uh, don't know. Dry you can make that. No, I just don't know. No, it's going to throw something out. But they won the best gin in the world for one of their varieties um, at the London hang Gin on, Awards. Hang on, hang on. London best, World Gin Awards. Best gin in the world. In McLaren Vale. No. Oh, yes, from McLaren Vale. Yeah, but best gin wow. in the world. Um, okay. Uh, but, um, and the setting, is, it's amazing. It's so that's part amazing. of the tour? Can yeah, be, yeah, totally. Can be and I, I love finishing there. Yeah, fair because, enough. Because, you know, finish off, end of the day, the views to die for, you sit back, you, you cleanse the palate, you know, because you don't want to just do 
you don't just want to do wine, you know, wine, beer, you know, even some mead from Maxwell's. You know, Maxwell's, oh, the mead. Mead's all good. In winter. Winter, yeah. Yeah, go surfing, have a mead, yeah. a hot mead. <laughs> but they, a, they do a sparkling mead. Anyway, we, we could keep on going, but. We will. We will. Oh, we will. Okay. Why not? Yeah. Oh, I've got a few. We've yeah. still got plenty of masaka and plenty of wine, but. Yeah. I've got, I've got a. I've got a chat about next week still. Okay. Because I've got the most amazing. I know. You not are. that you're not an amazing guest. And you've done really well. Thank you. Really well. Thank you've upped the ante. But I've got to tease your deal. So what is your deal? What are you going to... Oh, no, I just regurgitated that. No, sorry. I thought you said you want to tease my deal. I, I'm not, I What's the deal me. for people watching? The deal for people watching is if you book uh, a tour with me, so a wine tour with me, um, for six or more people, $100 off. Right, so being the layman and not knowing the prices. What okay, so uh, as I said... Uh, so is that two people free out of the six, or is it... How much is the well, tour? So one person on a tour is $99, so right. it's basically one person free. Right, so if I organise five people, I'll get mine for free. Well, you wouldn't be allowed on. Right, true. Weight restrictions. <laughs> Weight restrictions on the bikes. That was a bit harsh. So last, the, the bike, the, the, the bike, the tours with the bikes are 180 But again, right. you know, if, if they've watched this show... And, and they're locals. Oh, it doesn't matter if you're locals. If you're from America, if you're from China, if you're from Afghanistan, give me a call and we... Uh, you know. How small can it be and how big? Right. Hmm. How small? Oh, I, okay. The tours. Right. <laughs> okay. Glad uh, you clarified that. Anyway. Um, okay, so I uh, tours can be as... Well, I love... I, this is clanging together. I love doing tours of about eight. Because I, I like to be personal. I, I like to be able to chat with people. I like to, you know, tailor it to them. But I can do, I mean, my van has 13, you know, you can put 13 people in it. How many bikes um, have you got? I've, uh, well, in, in terms of bikes and things like that, I keep it down to eight. Because if I'm on the, got bikes and uh, paddle boards and whatnot, you know, safety, I, maximum of eight for those tours. But if it's a wine tour, we can do 12 people. Um, yeah. A brewery tour? Well, Down to the South Coast? 12 guys from the footy club. What a great night that was. Anyway, so Luke's um, discount, $100 off if six or more people book. So work it out. Organise five of your mates, get them to pay, you get to go for free. That's a pretty... That's a yeah, but I mean, I can do I can do tours for two people as well. What of course I, you can. But what I do, if it's two people, I do charge $150 a head. Yeah. Um, you know, I've, yeah. I've got to pay the bills, um, but again, give me a call. Tell me what you want. I mean, that's I just love. And what's I, the best way for people to contact you? Uh, so they can go to Gone A World Tours. Um, yeah. uh, Obviously, the socials they can message you. Yeah, totally. Give me a call on. Can I get my phone number? Yeah, out? go for it. Yeah. Plug it away. Oh four one six three two zero seven seven six. Send me a message. Give me a call. You know, about three in the morning is always good. Um, <laughs> but um, no, it's. I, I love it. I, I, I'll i do whatever. Give you a ring and organise yeah, something. Yeah, yep. or send me a message. Give me a ring. Contact me via the, the, the website. Yep. All right, so we've got to talk up next week's show. Not that we haven't had an amazing show tonight, and thanks heaps for coming on, but next week we've got an extra special guest. We've got Jill Gordon-Smith from The Fall of Grace. Now, this lady knows that much about wine. I'm not sure how we're going to come back to it into an hour. She's got her own little bottle shop down in Aldinga. Yeah. And she has got... I don't want to give too much away, but she is, I reckon, the premier person in Australia to talk Italian wines. Yeah, so, so, so I hear. Yeah, so, how so cool is that? I, I, I think if you love your Italian wines, you love something different, tune in next week, same time, 8 o'clock, on the Achieve Video Marketing Facebook Live, SA Wine Weekly. Next week's guest, Jill Gordon-Smith. Don't miss it. An uh, education lesson on Italian wines. Okay. Varieties you never heard of. That's cool. Amazing, amazing wines. Thanks heaps for tuning in. Thanks for coming on, mate. Thanks, mate. Enjoyed it. It's been awesome. The hour went like that. And we've got to say thanks. Well, well let's rattle off all the... First of all, Jukes. Masaka, Carly, awesome yeah. effort. Oh, um, and that, I mean, that. All right, I, next. I, I picked out, and we went to the. Um, Michelle. Michelle, Chef with the Michelle burgers. Is. And if you really want to get on the show, bring in a burger. 
bring in a burger. Or bring in a yeah. burger of Michelle's quality. We'll yes. get you on the show. All right, good luck. Good luck. Moussaka. And Deep Blue Cafe. Deep Blue Cafe, amazing and pizza. And everything I picked tonight was because I love it. And it's local. Yeah, but I love it. Yeah, you love that's it. That's the most important. I and wouldn't, it, it I'd never bring on anything that the I The wines love. you love, the foods you yep. love. That's the, that's the power of the show is it's what you love in yep. in wine and what you love to match it in food. And I'm getting to taste the majority of it for the first time. Yeah. How good is Pretty it? good gig. Not bad. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Eight o'clock next week, Wednesday nights. Every, actually, every Wednesday night, eight o'clock on the Achieve Video Marketing site, SA Wine Weekly.